from, but because if if we have more needs t tomorrow for you know borrowing for a twenty million dollar sewer or something that we didn't plan for, then we, what I hear is we're gonna we might exceed that seventy five percent because we're bal we're still balancing our capital needs, right? Mm -hmm. Is that is that okay? So no, okay. I know. I mean, of course it's okay. <laughs> so we would have to. That's why we do the planning and everything. So. Um, I think in the language, I just wanted to raise that point. I, I think with the, we, I can, I can live with what's proposed. Okay, great. Continue. All right, I'm not sure if there's a motion out, but if somebody wants to move this option as discussed, I think I got it. I would move we need motions, motions to this, but yes. I move to amend the language in the long range planning financial policy guidelines to include the proposed staff revisions plus the revisions that the board has to the board this evening. You have it, Mark? I do. So, yes, I think I got them all. Then I've got video.
hopefully soon a new planning and development director. Um, certainly our new police station that we spoke a lot of, uh, about. Um, and at some point a new uh, village president. Uh, last, uh, last meeting we had um, what I hope would, would be the, the, the start of some good uh, conversations uh, amongst board members on on proceeding and, and leading and, and, and working together. Um, and I, I took, a, took that to heart uh, and, and, and really thought about um, what, uh, what, what we're doing and, and, and what I see our, our, uh, our roles as. And, and after a lot of, uh, a lot of consideration uh, of, of all of that, um, and provided that um, sometime later this um, uh, this fall, when it becomes uh, appropriate to file notice and, and get uh, uh, get nominations uh, uh, appropriately assigned, um, that I intend uh, to uh, to put my uh, uh, to, to file uh, for uh, the village president next April. So I wanted all of, all of you to know that. Um, that will mean that um, um, uh, that uh, when that does when that does happen, um, um, that there will be at least one vacant seat then um, on, the, on the village board. Uh, but that's that's my intention. Uh, and like I said, I know there's some some dates coming up in the future in terms of, of, of filing and, and nomination papers, uh, but. Uh, and to let you, you, know, you all know that uh, that's, that's what I'm planning to do. Thank you. Okay. Any other reports? Um, yeah, I just wanted to report on the conservation fair and uh, fish and feather on um, you guys Saturday. Get kudos first. Oh my God, it was so cold and rainy. <laughs> 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 it was, it was, but yeah, it was, um, the weather was not great. There were some hardy souls who came out and participated and had a good time. Um, and uh, there was some collections. Uh, it's a really great collection of recycling um, at the top and uh, at the parking lot at Hubbard. So um, I, I know that the Conservation Committee you know, wanted to combine the two for, but I, I hope that we'll discuss it because I think this is the second year in a row that we kind of got rained out. Yeah, it's, it's such a fun too. event and, and it's it's so great to have all those opportunities for recycling of all mm -hmm. the junk in your garage that you have to get rid of at one time. So I hope we'll talk with conservation about, you know, maybe moving into September or some, <laughs> somehow that we can possibly avoid the rain. Today would have been beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Any other reports? Well, thank you for soldiering on it with it. It's, yeah, really rough. <laughs> I know, I invited everybody to come. Nobody showed up. So <laughs> you took my volunteer for Sunday. <laughs> I did. And I went to the uh, farmer's market on Sunday, and was it ever windy? Oh, oh my goodness. How many more farmer's markets are there? I think there's two more. Two more. Two more. Yeah. Any other reports? Any reports from you? No actual reports uh, this evening. Just a quick note, a uh, reminder, this is my last regular village board meeting. We'll be together again next Monday for the budget workshop. For irregular, irregular. Yeah, board for board. our last irregular board meeting. I will be meeting with Rebecca on Wednesday and uh, to talk a little transition, and uh, I will have a more detailed transition memo for her before I finish up. I'll be here the 1st of November, so I'll make sure that that's all in place before I depart. I might also mention that uh, last Friday was Rebecca's last day on the job oh. in Waterford. So. Is there any interviews? I know she was going to participate. Yes, uh, she's going to be at this week. This we're week. going to interview the planner okay. position, right? Uh, uh, planner and uh, village clerk. Village clerk. Yeah. 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 All lined up for this week. Okay. Um, for that's for future consideration. I'd like to, we've talked in the past about looking at the reserve liquor licenses and maybe approaching the 
if there's any licenses that aren't being fully used, since we may want, I mean, we're getting close to the running out, and we might want to start trying to see if someone is interested in returning the reserve license if they really are using it fully. And I think it was Nathan was going to follow up. I couldn't hear that. Well, I think Nathan, our attorney said he was going to follow up with us on that. On um, the uh, reserve liquor license? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it was going to check on the numbers. And, uh, there's some of them that I think are, are not being utilized. Right. That we might be able to. I just to report to us next yeah. time. Okay. Future agenda item does not be anytime soon, but when you, um, it's just revisiting fiscal notes. Uh, I know that when Larry came on for the first, you know, at first you, you restructured that memo, and we never really had time to, you know, review it before you left and, and give some input. So um, I have some input I'd like to provide, and so if it can be a at some point, or at committee, it doesn't have to be a yeah. Items for future? Yeah, I think last committee level there was a deferred item on a request to re return some switch sewer bill fees. Did, did we defer those? Here? Like, just, you know, they actually were. I mean, with what we were experiencing, it was depending on being yeah. 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 Well, the sewer fee was a small amount of money. The other issue had to do with an insurance claim. It was actually a claim against the contractor, not against the village. So the claim was diverted to the contractor's carrier for processing because the contractor had responsibility. It was installed into the stitch form. They had responsibility for that. They blocked the service lateral. They thought it was abandoned. It was in pretty bad shape. And then it turned out not to be. They created a sewer backup. So the village president and I are still communicating about that. I think we're going to have to do a little more work with the, uh, the impact of business owner. But I think that as far as the sewage bill claim goes, that can just have function. Yeah, yeah, we have the authority to okay. take like care of that. We started the process. It's a small amount of money. Yeah. Was $150 he or something. Was he notified of that decision? Uh, oh, yeah. He was notified of the insurance. No, not of the insurance. No, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we, we make well, it. I talked to him about it. Okay. Okay. Well, if we approve those at the staff level, could we, could we notify the... It sounds like you guys are processing it. It sounds like you're yeah. reimbursing him for those sewer charges. They would have it's, it's like staff 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 staff. Staff. Yeah, it's like $140. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a small amount yeah. of money. That's it not just was taken off the agenda, so... Yeah, and the reason it was taken off is because the insurance claim was not a village claim and the casualty loss was created by the contractor. Because with all of our construction contracts, there's indemnification language and insurance requirements in all of those contracts that the contractors take the responsibility for any casualty loss. I understand. Didn't our insurance company say they recommend that we disallow the claim? I mean, that's their letter. So. No, they approved the... They approved the part of the claim that had to do with the casualty loss. It was about $3,800 that was associated with some damage and backup due to the fact that they blocked the service lateral. Then there was, because the service lateral was, was broken. In the I understand factory, the situation. And I there was a second. The insur our insurance said in their letter, we recommend that you disallow the claim. Is this a discussion or is it? Are we still in the report? No. Okay. Your, our insurance company? I don't know that our insurance company. Yeah, we have to find it. On uh, we, we, had it we had it actually had it on the agenda on the public works committee, and we deferred it because we ran out of time, uh, and and we need to circle back this because I get some similar yeah. questions it's, that we just need to wrap yeah. up. So, so if you want to point to, I I reviewed all the documents, and I can tell you exactly what. Um, let's 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 bring it back to committee. Let's bring it back to the committee. And then there's short answers. There's indisputable. The contractor has video of the fact that the lateral was smashed back, and that's what he wants us. That's what he wants the village to pay for. In fact, the damage that was caused by shutting it off. I understand. The I was asking about disallowing the claim, right. just because yeah. I thought this was the letter said. 
not the one I didn't see a letter. I saw a letter. We'll get it back. Well, let's bring it back. Bring it back. Do whatever we need to do. Yep. I think we should meet with the general. And again, I should say. <laughs> Second. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 aye.